What's up guys? Today we're going to be taking a look at some useful tips and tricks for your Apple Watch. If you're new to the channel, of course, consider subscribing. If you own an Apple Watch, if you want an Apple Watch, if you like Apple in general. Why are you begging for subscribers? I'm not begging for subscribers. It's just if they like this type of content, they should subscribe. Your content is horrible. Oh my god. stupid. I don't want to unplug you again. People think that notification and control center can only be accessed via a watch face, but they are totally wrong. If you're inside of an app, let's say the activity app, if you hold on the bottom of the screen and swipe up, you'll get control center. And if you hold on the top of the screen and swipe down, you'll get notification center. If you open an app, let's say the activity app, and then you go to the workout app. If you double tap on the digital crown, you'll go to your previous app. Did you know that the Apple Watch can play a sound every single hour? So when it's three, it will play a sound. When it's four, it will play a sound. It is very useful. I have it. It's a very minimal sound. If you want this, jump over to settings, accessibility, chimes and there you can choose whether you want it hourly even 30 minutes or every 15 and then you can also choose the sound between bells or birds want to type faster on your apple watch well there's a bunch of ways that you can send messages on your apple watch you can write you can scribble start writing a word use the digital crown and the apple watch will finish it off for you did you know that there is a power reserve mode on your apple watch let's say you're going out on the weekend and you forgot your apple watch and you still want a watch you still want a watch that tells you the time before you access power reserve mode by holding down the power button but now it's under settings battery and there you go there is power reserve mode did you know that you can change the order of your watch faces directly from your apple watch it's very simple simply hold down to your watch face hold and swipe to the left or swipe to the right depending on the order that you want your watch face to be in quite cool. Apple recently added this. If you want to change the exercise goal or the stand goal on your Apple Watch, it's pretty simple. Simply swipe to the bottom, tap change goals, and there you go. You'll be able to change your move goal, your exercise goal, and your stand goal. Now, this next trick is unbelievable. When I discovered it, I was like, before I show you the trick, I wanted to show you today's sponsor, which is the Vegan Loop. The Vegan Loop is a leather Apple Watch band that is 100% vegan, 100% animal cruelty free. The best thing about this is that it actually feels like leather. It's not like those Apple Watch bands that are have like fake leather and they're just plasticky. This one actually feels like leather. It's awesome. Links in the description. Use promo code Nikias Molina and you'll get a 20% off. Hit the link down in the description. It's honestly just check this out. Check this out. Look at the quality. It's awesome. Links in the description. You can use your Apple Watch. Drop your Apple Watch on your iPhone. Open up the camera app. If you record YouTube videos or just like taking photos of yourself, you can literally have a viewfinder on your iPhone, strapping your Apple Watch on your iPhone. This is so awesome. And I'm using this so much. I mean, look at this. It's like a vlogging setup. How awesome is this? Now, this is a little bit more of a complex trick, but if I can do it, you can definitely do it. You can receive a notification when your iPhone reaches 100%. Let's say you're on the couch, you charge your iPhone and you wanna know when it's officially charged. You can simply receive a notification on your Apple Watch to let you know that. Okay, it's very simple. Create a shortcut using the shortcuts app. When the iPhone reaches 100%, send me a notification. That's it. It's that simple. Don't stress out. I know Siri shortcuts can be like so complicated, so stressful. It's that. When it reaches 100%, send me a notification. You're welcome. Did you know that you can actually ping and find your iPhone by simply swiping up on the control center and press the ping iPhone button? But did you know that if you actually hold on that, the flash will actually pop up. So if you're in a dark room, you're gonna find it immediately. All right, so that's it. That is you all. You can also schedule watch faces. Well, that's a little bit complex. Your audience is very smart. They all eat lemons. Well, yeah, that is kind of true. You are the stupid one. I'm not the stupid. Tell them. Okay, fine. I'll tell you. If you add an automation in the Siri Shortcuts app and put when, let's put a time, like for example, 3 p.m. and then do set a watch face and then select the watch face. And if you do that, you can schedule watch faces on your Apple Watch. Let's say on the weekend, you want the Mickey Mouse watch face. And then on the weekdays, you want like the Infograph modular watch face because there is more information. You can do that now. Thank you, Siri. That was actually pretty smart. You are they welcome. They actually understood it. You understood it, right? 
Drop a like on this video if you guys found something new. Hit subscribe if you love the Apple Watch as much as I do. Don't forget to check out Vegan Loops and get a 20% off on your next purchase. It's seriously such an amazing band. And I'll see you on the next one. Be happy because life is good. Peace. Stay on the phone